if there were no battles to be fought, then our Lord and our God would not have been described as a man of war. Father, I thank you for the miracle Monday service. I decree and declare this is the service of transformation and open heavens in the name of Jesus. I declare tonight in Jesus' name, Rabakados Karabahandi. God's enabling grace is yours in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare in the name of Jesus as you are living this miracle Monday, you will have experienced and received unlimited breakthroughs in the name of Jesus. I declare divine favor is yours in the name of Jesus. Financial overflow is yours in the name of Jesus. I hear the Lord say total restoration is yours in the name of Jesus. Open doors are yours in the name of Jesus. Abundant peace is yours in the name of Jesus. Unstoppable fruitfulness is yours in the name of Jesus. I decrease that you may increase, Lord. I disappear that you may appear. Lord, as we war against a stubborn problem, speak to us one more time. Speak to us in the language that we shall understand. Oh, Rabba Kadosh Karaba Handi. Lizo Yagadesh Karaba Kadoska. Let this be a word of direction. Father, let this be a word of confirmation. Let this be a word of revelation. We leave our burdens at the feet of Jesus Christ. Father, speak to your people in the language they will understand. Those that are here in this auditorium and the thousands of people that are watching us live. I decree and declare a new beginning in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, let your word bring impact. Let your word affect our lives and destiny. Let your word lift somebody to the next level. Father, let me speak of as your oracle. Let me speak of your counsel in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. I want to read the anchor scriptures as I bring this message to a close. Hallelujah. Matthew chapter 11 and verse 12. And from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffers violence and the violence shall take it by force. From the days of John the Baptist until now, the days of Miracle Monday. Until now, the days of the Oracle. Until now, the days of Lucy Natasha. Can you put your name there? Look at your neighbor for me. Tell them. And from the days of John the Baptist. And from the days of John the Baptist. Until now. The days of Lucy Natasha. Please, if your name is not Lucy Natasha, call your own name. <laughs> uh, tell your neighbor, from the days of John the Baptist. The Baptist until, now, until now. The days of Lucy Natasha. The days of, the days of Miracle Monday. The, the kingdom of heaven suffers violence. Suffers and the violent shall take it by force. Exodus 15.3, my God. These are our anchor scriptures in this series that I've been teaching uh, since we began. The Lord is a man of war. The Lord is his name. The Lord is a man of war. You know, if God is a man of war, that means there are battles to be fought. If there were no battles to be fought, then our Lord and our God would not have been described as a man of war. And if we are his sons and daughters and our God is a man of war, then also we ought to be men and women of war. Somebody say amen. Ah, okay. Let's go now to the last anchor scripture, which is Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 12. Hallelujah. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this age, against spiritual hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places. My God. So I want you to understand this year, it is going to be a great year. God has already spoken to us with clarity from our crossover service that this will be the year of open doors the year of enlargement that the problems of 2018 will not follow us into 2019 but I want you to know uh, uh, the body of Christ that it is not going to come on a, on, on a silver platter it is not going to be a 
walk in the park. Hallelujah. It is going to take a fight. Hallelujah. The journey of destiny requires a fight. And the Lord told me, go and prepare the miracle Monday family. And even the thousands that watch us live, go and give them the weapons of warfare. Because this year we are going to fight for our destiny. We are going to fight for our families. We are going to fight for our children. We are going to fight for our careers. We are going to fight for our businesses. Give three people a high five and tell them fight. This year you've got to be ready to fight. Amen. You know the devil does not understand the language of diplomacy. The devil understands the language of violence. And so as I began this series, I began by giving you some weapons of war of which I had already mentioned. So these ones I will just pass over them very quickly as I go uh, to the other ones. The first weapon of war was the weapon of violent faith. Tell your neighbor the weapon of violent faith. And we saw from 1 John chapter 5 and verse 4 that uh, the Bible says, For whatever is born of God overcomes the world. And this is the victory that has overcome the world, our faith. God cannot move without faith. Look at your neighbor, say neighbor. Is there anything that is impossible with God? Uh, look at your neighbor, say neighbor. Number one, the weapon of violent faith. I will not look into that because I already talked about it. The second weapon is the weapon of divine direction. We say this year is the year of divine direction. We need the weapon of divine direction. And we learn from the life of David in 1 Samuel chapter 30 verse 8. That David inquired of the Lord saying, shall I pursue this troop? Shall I overtake them? And he answered him, pursue for you shall surely overtake them. And without fail recover all. David asked of the Lord. He inquired of the Lord and we said the second force for us to overcome and to fight against a stubborn problem. We need the weapon of divine direction. And uh, as you are lifting your hands, I pray for anyone that is confused here. Anyone that is trusting God for direction. May the voice of God come to you with simplicity and with clarity. Amen. And bring you direction. Somebody say I pray against confusion. I pray In the mighty name confusion. of Jesus. Jesus, say, oh Lord, oh Lord, direct, direct, and order my steps, and order my steps throughout this year, throughout this in year, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. As you are lifting your hand, I bind every spirit of confusion. Amen. Father, anyone that is confused concerning their career, yes. concerning their marital choice, yes. concerning their businesses, yes. concerning where to invest, concerning their relationship, yes. anyone that is confused in any area of their life, oh, yes. and that is trusting you for direction. Yes. Father, may your voice come with clarity. Amen. I pray that the voice of God will come to you Amen. and bring you direction in the name of Jesus. Amen. 2019, may God cut you Amen. from making fundamental mistakes Amen. in your decision making Amen. in the name of Jesus. Shout Amen. Amen. Tell your neighbor, no confusion this year. No confusion this year. There are people here that are confused. You are confused about which business to start. You are confused about who to marry. You have three proposals. So you don't know if it is John, James, or Peter. <laughs> you will not make fundamental mistakes. Some of you are confused on where to invest or who to accept. Somebody say amen. amen. Or even the relationships that you have. You need divine direction. If you don't have divine direction, you will make, you will think your John is your Judas and your Judas is your John. Say no confusion this year. So you need the force of divine, the weapon of divine direction. Hallelujah. The third one we looked at uh, very quickly. These ones, I'm just I'm mentioning them just to refresh your mind. Is the weapon of violent prayer. The weapon of violent prayer. And we saw uh, one, of the, one of the examples of violent prayer was the prayer of Jacob. According to Genesis 32, 26. And he said, let me go for the day breaks. But he said, I will not let you go unless you you bless me my God and we discovered last week on Monday that prayer is warfare come on give your neighbor a high five and tell them prayer is warfare when you pray, your prayer goes to God as worship, but it goes to the devil as warfare. Prayer is warfare, my God. Look at your neighbor, tell them prayer is warfare. 
And this is one instant of violent prayer. The prayer of Jacob. He prayed a violent prayer. And Jacob, a person, became a nation. In an instance, Jacob was changed from a, a man to become a nation. There is power in prayer. And even James chapter 15 verse 16 B says, The effectual fervent prayers of a righteous man availeth much. And 2019 is your year to pray more. I pray that God will soak you in the spirit of prayer. Amen. I pray that God will ignite your prayer life with fire. Amen. I pray that in 2019, every dryness in your prayer life, let it be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Amen. This year, receive the grace to pray more. I receive. receive grace to seek the face of God. I receive. In prayer and in fasting. Amen. Tell your neighbor the weapon of prayer. The weapon of prayer. A prayerful life is a powerful life. A prayerless life is a powerless life. Your prayer life is an indication of your spiritual life. Tell your neighbor your prayer life. Your prayer life. Is an indication of your spiritual life. Is an indication of your spiritual and life. And listen to me in 2019. If you fail to pray, you plan to fail. And if you are not praying, you are playing with destiny. Please help me communicate to your neighbor. Say, neighbor. Neighbor. If you're not praying. If you're not praying. You are playing with destiny. You are playing with destiny. And when you fail to pray. And when you fail to pray. You are planning to fail. You are planning to fail. May God soak you in the spirit of prayer. Amen. Prayer is fellowship with God. Prayer is communion with God. Prayer is a place of revelation. I always look at the disciples of Jesus and this inspires me to pray more. They lived with Jesus for three years. They saw Jesus walk on water. They saw Jesus raise the dead. They saw Jesus cleanse leprosy with a touch. They saw Jesus open blind ears and deaf ears. After they had seen all these things, they did not say, Jesus, teach us how to walk on water. Teach us how to multiply food. But they observed and they discovered the lifestyle of Jesus was the lifestyle of prayer. Yes. So after looking keenly at the life of Jesus they said Jesus teach us how to pray because they knew everything is found in prayer. Amen. That is why the Bible says seek here first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things will be added. The car will be added. The Amen. house will be added. Amen. The job, the promotion will be added. But it all begins at prayer. Tell your neighbor pray. Pray, pray, pray. Pray, pray, pray. Ah, pray. Look at your neighbor. Tell them you can preach and perish. You can preach and perish. But you cannot pray and perish. But you cannot pray and perish. Then the fourth one very quickly as I go over this one is the weapon of prophetic intervention. The weapon of prophetic intervention. You cannot go into war empty handed. You need the weapons of war. And as you saw our weapons are not carnal. My God. This is the weapon of prophetic prophetic inter intervention. There are some situations you go through that you require the intervention of a prophetic grace. And this is one of the powerful weapons. When you look at 2 Chronicles 20, 20, the Bible says, believe in the Lord your God and you shall be established and believe in his prophets and so you shall, and so you shall prosper. So believing is in two ways. You must believe in the Lord your God so that you can be established and you must believe in his prophets so that you can prosper. That means your prosperity is in the mouth of a prophet. That is why the Bible says by a prophet Israel was delivered. By a prophet Israel was preserved. Anytime God sends a prophet God sends a prophet to profit you. God sends a prophet to accelerate your destiny. I don't know who God has sent me here for in Miracle Monday. Yes. But I declare this is your ear. I you will break through and break forth in the name of I Jesus. Receive. I declare 2019 will be your best Year. I receive. Shout, I receive. I receive. My God, when a prophet appears, trouble disappears. <laughs> Then the fifth one we saw the weapon of sacrifice. Tell your neighbor the weapon of sacrifice. The weapon of sacrifice. From Psalms 50 verse 5, the Bible says gather my saints together to me. Those that have made a covenant with me by sacrifice. Hallelujah. Uh, you know you cannot enter into covenant with God without a sacrifice. We serve a God of sacrifice. Somebody says sacrifice. And I always admire the life of David. And from 2 Samuel, which I will not read, chapter 24, verse 24 and verse 25. The Bible says, and David said, I will not give the Lord anything that does not cost me. 
David understood the power of sacrifice. And when you look at uh, 2 Samuel chapter 24 and verse 25, it is after David gave a sacrifice. The Bible says, and David built an altar there to the Lord and offered burnt offerings and peace offerings. So the Lord heeded the prayers of the land and the plague was withdrawn from Israel. You know, you can imagine the sacrifice provoked God that uh, he heeded to the prayers of the land. The plague was withdrawn from Israel just after David gave a sacrifice to the Lord. Look at your neighbor, tell them sacrifice. Sacrifice. Uh, tell your neighbor, sacrifice. Sacrifice. And listen to me, the altar is a place of sacrifice. Every altar is empowered by a sacrifice. An altar is where divinity meets humanity. An altar has no power until sacrifice is laid there. Look at your neighbor, tell them sacrifice. Sacrifice. Is the voice of the altar. Is the voice of the altar. And sacrifice is not just about money. It is what it represents. Anytime you give sacrifice, don't see money. You need to see your destiny in it. Hallelujah. Amen. So we looked at that and uh, I am praying for you that this year you will learn the power of sacrifice. Amen. The sixth one now, because today I'm, I'm completing this message because next Monday is the anointing miracle Monday service. I will be giving you the prophetic instruction. The sixth one now is the weapon of positive mentality. Tell your neighbor your mentality determines your reality. Your mentality determines your reality. Uh, look at them well. Tell them your mentality. Your mentality. Determines your reality. Determines your reality. If you look at Proverbs uh, 23 verse 7, the Bible says, as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. That tells you your mentality determines your reality. You know, you cannot be different from what you think. Hallelujah. Uh, look at somebody, tell them this year, change your mentality. Change your mentality. Come on, two people, tell them, change your mentality. Change your mentality. And Romans chapter 12 and verse 2 has given us a very clear instruction. Romans chapter 12 and do not be conformed to this world but be transformed by the renewing of your mind that you may prove what is good and acceptable and perfect will of God so this year be transformed I want you to know you are what God says you are Amen. you can do what God says you can do Amen. it doesn't matter the family you came from the background you came from yes. it doesn't matter your history your destiny is greater than your history Amen. where you are going is better than where you are coming yes. from look at your neighbor tell them i know you have my history i know you have my history ah tell them keep it keep it i have my destiny i have my destiny and my destiny is greater than my history and my destiny is greater than my history change your mentality don't have the mentality of the tribe you came from. The mentality of the family you came from. I want you to have God's mentality by the renewing of your mind. You are what God says you are. It doesn't matter what anybody says about you. I always say and I'll say it again. When God speaks, every other speaker becomes a noise maker because God has the final word for your life. Amen. Tell your neighbor when God speaks. When God speaks. Every other speaker. Every other speaker. Becomes Becomes a noise maker. Becomes a noise maker. So don't worry about anybody else that has talked. Because as they talk behind your back, God will bless you before their face. Uh, tell your neighbor, as they talk behind your back. As they talk behind your back. God will bless you before their face. God will bless you before and their face. And even when you see people talking, don't be worried. When you are at the top, you become the topic. When you are the head, you become the headlines. Yes. And it is God that holds the final word for your life. Amen. So don't worry if people are talking. Let the talkers talk. Uh, turn to your neighbor, tell them, let the talkers talk. Let the talkers talk. Then the seventh one is the weapon of positive declaration. The weapon of positive declaration. Proverbs 18.21 The power of life and death is in the tongue. And they that, that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. Hallelujah. Don't just talk this year. And I've said this repeatedly and I cannot emphasize this enough. That what you confess is what you possess. Your words are the creators of your world. I want you to know there is power in what you say. You know, the words that you speak, they shape your life. They shape your destiny. They shape your children. They shape your calling. They shape 
your career and your business. The power of life and death is in the tongue. As you begin to speak about yourself, as you begin to speak to your destiny, I want you to know you are the first prophet of your own destiny. Yeah. Begin to speak positively. So as you have a positive mentality now, let it also be reflected in your declaration. Somebody say amen. amen. Even when you are broke up, say this and I'll tell you again. Never say I'm broke. Say I am temporarily inconvenienced. Salamia jirani yako mwambia I'm temporarily inconvenienced. Please as me recommend, let's be talking big. When people ask you how are you, just tell them I'm blessed, I'm favored. How is life? I'm living my best life. Hallelujah. Uh, hey. Salamia jirani yako muulize how are you? How are you? How are you? I'm so blessed. What are they saying? How are you? Tell them I'm blessed, I'm favored, I'm lifted, I'm anointed, I am ah. Shabakados. For me, I have told you this. I out of all the countries I have gone, the people that have challenged me is Nigerians. Those people you can never know their profession. They talk big. Everybody talks big. Among us people from the continent of Africa. These people do exploits, but they also have discovered the power of confession. Even if you meet an ordinary Nigerian, nobody talks small. Tell your neighbor they all talk big, 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 big. They all talk big, 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 big. If you meet a housewife, you say, What do you do? They'll tell you I am a domestic engineer. If you meet a hawker and you say, what do you do? They will tell you, I am a general supplier. Hey, hey you meet a receptionist. You are like, what do you do? They will tell you, I am a front desk controller. Yeah. Hey, a hey. T-boy, T-boy, what do you do? I am a refreshment director. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey. hey. They don't talk small. Even get man will not tell you get man. They'll just shorten it and say GM. So you will be thinking this might be the general manager. Hey. hey. Tell your neighbor, talk big. Talk big. This year, talk big. Change your mentality hey. and change your language. Ooh. Are you listening to me? Yes. Talk big. Say about you what God says about you. Yes. I'm a billionaire. I'm a millionaire. Because it's not about where you are. It is about where God is taking you. And where God is taking you is bigger than where we are and where we are coming from. So the power of positive declaration. Somebody say amen. Amen. And look at what Luke chapter 21 verse 15 says. Luke chapter 21 verse 15. Mm. For I will give you a mouth and a wisdom which all your adversaries will not be able to contradict or resist. May God give you a wisdom. Amen. Which all your adversaries will not be able to resist or contradict. I receive. I declare wherever you go as you speak. Yes. Receive the oil of divine acceptance. I receive. Even your adversaries will not be able to resist when you talk. Amen. And they will not be able to contradict in the name of Jesus. Amen. Somebody shout, I receive. I receive. And also you can read later Mark chapter 11 and verse 23 where the Bible says whoever says to this mountain be removed and be cast into the sea and does not doubt in his heart but believes that those things he says will be done and, and uh, he will have whatever he says. Now the eighth weapon before I close I'm going to give you now two more. I'm going to give you eight, nine and ten. Then we get into prayer. These ones I will give you very fast. The eighth weapon is the weapon of favor. Somebody said the weapon of favor. Weapon of favor. Can we have Deuteronomy 33, 23? You cannot fulfill your destiny without favor. Everything that God is about and the things I'm speaking about in this altar, they are not going to come by your salary. They are not going to come by your salary. They are going to come by favor. I receive. Look at your neighbor. Say neighbor. Neighbor. You cannot fulfill your destiny without favor. You cannot fulfill your destiny without favor. So it's also a weapon. Somebody say it's a weapon. It's a weapon. Watch this now. Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy uh, 33, 23. And of Naphtali, he said, O oh, Naphtali, satisfied with favor and full of the blessing of the Lord, Possess the west and the south. My God. You need the weapon of favor. Amen. Favor is God's goodness. God's unmerited goodness. God's undeserved goodness. God 
qualifying you where you are disqualified. Favor is heaven standing by you in the journey of destiny. Amen. Favor is divine help. Heaven helping you. Favor is divine acceptance. Favor is the undeniable hand of God in a man or a woman's life. My God, I pray for you in 2019. Rabba Kadoshka. You know, it is favor that gives you attractability and acceptability. Yes. It is favor that gives you, I repeat, attractability and, ac and acceptability. Mm. It gives you acceptance. It gives you attractability. Yes. When you have favor, you have flavor. Mm. Tell your neighbor, when you have favor, you have flavor. When you have favor, you have flavor. And I prophesy to you this week. Yes. Every great man or woman flies on the wings of divine favor. Mm. Every great accomplishment in life is traceable to the flow of divine favor. Yes. Wherever you go this week, I declare favor. I receive. May God qualify you where you are disqualified. I receive. I declare favor over your life. I receive. Favor as you go in, favor as you go out. I receive. I declare where others are rejected, you shall be accepted. I receive. Where others are tolerated, you shall be celebrated. I receive. I declare where others have been condemned, you shall be commended. I receive. Somebody say favor. Favor. Even in the Bible times, everybody that had great impact, they were flowing on divine favor. Moses as Tamara became a deliverer because of favor. Esther an orphan girl became a queen because of favor. Deborah an ordinary woman became a judge and a prophetess in Israel because of favor. Joshua an assistant became a conqueror because of favor. Amen. David a shepherd boy became a king because of favor. Yes. Joseph a prisoner became a prime minister because of favor. Yes. Mary the mother of Jesus an unknown virgin girl became the mother of our savior Jesus Christ because of favor. I prophesy in the name of Jesus. Professor. Favor for business. I receive. Ah, favor for employment. I receive. Favor for promotion. I receive. Favor for money. I receive. Favor for divine health. I receive. Favor for marriage. I receive. Favor for the next level. I receive. receive favor to possess your possession. I receive. receive. Favor to build your house. I receive. Favor to drive your dream car. I receive. Favor to go to nations. I receive. Favor for ministry. I receive. Somebody shout, I receive. I receive. Touch your neighbor, sit down, tell them favor. Favor. It will take the weapon of favor to fulfill your destiny. Somebody say favor. Favor. Labor without favor is struggle. Then the ninth one, and I'll say this very quickly, is the weapon of revelation. Somebody say revelation. Revelation. Somebody say revelation. Revelation. Hosea 4, 6 says, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. My God. Hosea 4, 6 says, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Because you have rejected knowledge, I also will reject you from being priest for me. Because you have forgotten the law of your God. And I will also forget your children. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Because they have rejected knowledge. Then also, Isaiah chapter 5 verse 13 confirms that. It says, therefore my people have gone into captivity. Because they have no knowledge. Their honorable men have famished and their multitude dried up with thirst. Hallelujah. You need revelation of the word. Revelation of who you are to God. Hallelujah. Who you are in God. Tell your neighbor revelation. 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 And that is why you have to keep on hearing the word. Because you know faith and also revelation comes by the word. The reason why God brought you to Miracle Monday is to hear the word. Faith comes by the hearing and by the hearing of the word of God. Revelation also comes by the word. Tell your neighbor Revelation, 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 revelation. Ah, tell your neighbor, revelation, revelation. Until you know you have possession, you cannot possess it. So, you need revelation this year. Walk in revelation in the name of Jesus. The last one, as we get ready to stand, the tenth one is the weapon of times and season. The weapon of times and seasons. For you to be able to confront and overcome stubborn problems, you need to understand times and seasons. Look at your neighbor, tell them times and seasons. Times and seasons. In Ecclesiastes chapter 3 and verse 1 and also verse 11, 
Can I have a clear Ecclesiastes chapter 3 and verse 1? For everything there is a season and a time for every purpose under heaven. Understand the times and the season. And I pray like the sons of Issachar, we shall be able to discern the times and the seasons we are living in. Amen. And we shall know what to do in the season. Ah. Amen. And I just had the Holy Ghost whisper to me that this is your season to prosper. I receive. Ah, this is your season to settle. I receive. This is your season to arise. I receive. This is your season to serve God. I receive. This is your season to go to nations. I receive. This is your season. I receive. Time and chance happeneth to them all. And I just came to declare to somebody this is your time. Amen. Let's see verse 11. Verse 11 of Ecclesiastes chapter 3. For he has made everything beautiful in its time. Oh my God. Uh, also he has put eternity in their hearts. Except that no one can find out the work that God does from the beginning to the end. Everybody standing up on your feet. I declare. The Lord is making everything beautiful in his time. I receive. And this is your time. I receive. Lift your hand and declare, this is my time. This is my time. Open your mouth and declare, this is my time. This is my time. Somebody lift up your hands and begin to declare. Those things this that you've been believing time. God for. Begin to declare, this is my time. This is my time. Open this your mouth and begin season. to declare, this is my this time. Shatarabakadi bahande lokotaya. Rabo jadina makote basura. Bahande, Ripa Shayando Zekatia Baha, Yeto Jadina Mako Telebo Sikadaba, Repo Shakiata, Mahando Sekete Lebo Shidi Mahanda, Rekotia Masekete Lebo Shita, Ikayando Seko Liba Hande Mashita. As you are stretching your hands to the altar, I pray that every stubborn problem. Every stubborn issue, every stubborn challenge, every stubborn difficulty that you have been battling with for a long time. May the Lord bring it to an end in the name of Jesus. Oh, Shalabaka Doska. Every stubborn problem. Somebody say after me, say, I declare. Yeah. Every stubborn problem. Yeah. Every stubborn problem. Every stubborn challenge. Yeah. Every stubborn challenge. Every stubborn difficulty. Yeah. Every stubborn difficulty. That I have been fighting. That I have been fighting. For a long time. For a long time. Lord. Lord. Bring it to an end. Bring it to an end. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every stubborn problem. Yeah. Every stubborn problem. That has been taking my peace. That has been taking my my peace challenging my life challenging my life i come against you now i come against you now in the name of jesus in the name of jesus any demonic power any demonic power behind my stubborn problem behind my stubborn problem catch fire catch fire catch fire catch fire any demonic power any demonic power behind stubborn problems in my family Behind stubborn problems in my family. Catch fire! Catch fire! Catch fire! Catch fire! Every stubborn enemy. Every stubborn enemy. In my life. In my life. In my family. In my family. In my career. In my career. In my business. In my business. In my calling. In my calling. Get out of my life! Get out of my life! In the name. Jesus. The name of Jesus. As you are lifting your hands, say, I declare. I declare. From tonight. From tonight. No more limitations. No more limitations. No more delays. No more delays. No more hindrances. No more hindrances. Father. Father. Contend with them. Contend with them. That are contending against me. That are contending against me. Lord. 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 Fight them. Fight them that fight against in me. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Say, I declare. I declare. This is my turning point. This is my turning point. I am an overcomer. I am an overcomer. I am victorious. I am victorious. I am more than a conqueror. I am more than a conqueror. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. As we were praying, I just felt the Lord telling me to read Zechariah 4 7. Who are you? O great mountain, before Zerubbabel, you shall become a plain. 
and he shall bring forth the capstone with shouts of grace grace to it the lord is saying he's leveling your mountain I don't know what your mountain is, but I want to give you 10, 10 seconds. Begin to mention your mountain before the Lord. Shalabakadoska. Ask your problem. Who are you? Before the blood of Jesus. Every, pro every problem, you are nothing. Shalabakadoska. Lizoyagadeshka. In the name of Jesus, from the altar of Miracle Monday, I pull down the strongholds of evil yes. in your life, in your family, in your business, in your career. Yes. I pull down the strongholds of evil. Yes. God arise in the name of Jesus. Fight our battles. Yes. Somebody say, oh God arise. Oh God arise. And fight our battles. And fight our battles. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I see the Lord bringing somebody to the land of favor and breakthrough. I receive. In Jesus name. Shout amen. Amen. I honor the grace and the anointing operating upon your life, Mama Oracle. Amen. Mama, last week before we left the service, you prayed over our phones and you said we will receive good news this week. Mm -hmm. And Mama, the manifestation of that word has already occurred. Oh, glory to Jesus. Jonathan Kenneth says, mm -hmm. the oracle prophesied over our phones last Monday. And on Saturday, I received a message that a music academy was looking for talents. I went for the audition and passed. And if that wasn't enough, I received a scholarship from them and I'm starting on 11th March. My God, Jonathan, there is, so it's a music academy. Yeah, it's a music academy. Uh -huh. And yes. they were looking for? Okay, they're looking for talent and mm. uh, they were a gift that they can, uh, that, that can be profitable. Uh -huh. Yes. And so you got a scholarship to join this academy. Yes, yes. When are you joining the academy? 11th March. 11th March. Yeah. Your son is now in Form 1. Yes, he's now in Form 1. Uh -huh. uh, after the results, uh -huh. um, he passed and uh, he was invited to a school which we were not happy about. Mm -hmm. So I came mm -hmm. to see you with the resort sleep mm -hmm. uh, on a Thursday evening. Yeah, I remember. Uh -huh. and, uh, During the partners one-on-one. -on -one. Yes. Mm. And we prayed about it. The next morning, I visited one of the national schools that we had selected. Uh -huh. And uh, I was given a vacancy the same day. Can you give God the glory? Can I pray that God should create a vacancy for somebody? Yes, yes. Oracle. Even to those that are here and they are trusting God for promotions and jobs. Yes. I hear God is creating a vacancy for you. I see. Then now you are saying that um, the father to your child. Yes. He works in Qatar mm -hmm. and he had uh, refused to pay the school fees. Mm -hmm. He said he has no money. Mm -hmm. uh, I came to see you in the office and mm -hmm. we prayed about it. Uh, I left. The next morning he called me. In fact, I was surprised because he was not even picking my calls, mm -hmm. not replying to messages, mm -hmm. WhatsApp, nothing. So, <laughs> in a blue tick. Eh. <laughs> Lakini hakuna response. Hakuna response. Sema shetani yashinde mfululizo. Yeah. Wale ambao wamekuwa kiku blue tick bila response. Hey! Hey! Oh, it's just... I'm about to prophesy here. Uh -huh. So after prayers. Uh -huh. No, the following morning. The following morning at 10 a.m. Uh -huh. I saw his phone call. I, I couldn't believe. Mm. I picked the call and he told me that he has sent money. He mm. sent the entire school fees. And he told me that he's going to clear the entire four-year school fees uh, lump sum. My God. I stand in my office as God's oracle. Oh, yes. yes. I deny them peace. I receive. I deny them rest. Oh, yes. I receive. As the king could not sleep in Esther chapter 6 until Mordecai was honored. Yes. yes. You are helpers of destiny will not rest. Yes. I receive. You are helpers of destiny will not sleep. I yes. receive. I will look for you to bless you. Amen. They will look for you to promote you. I receive. They will look for you to bless you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Amen.